A million faces through looking at you. We're in Laredo, Texas. These are the people that are going to be in charge of having the fireworks done in Laredo. Can you explain to us a little bit? First of all, tell us your names and what you're going to be doing. Hello, my name is Art. I'm Sandra Maxwell from Brownsville, Texas. And uh, basically, we're here to set up a fireworks show for Independence Parks for the first time ever. Uh, we decided to, well, the city decided to do something for the south side, so that's why we're here. Uh, to do fireworks in Texas, you do have to be licensed, is that correct? Yes, that's Nobody can just show up and put up big fireworks like what y'all are going to yeah, propose exactly. to do. Yeah, We're licensed by the state of Texas. And the How long does it take to set up a, a light show? Uh, usually a, a low-level show like this will take probably about four hours to set up. A larger uh, display, it'll take anywhere from 10 hours to two or three days. Uh, depending on, on the amount of, of uh, shells. Four hours, and how long is the display itself? The display itself will be about 15 minutes. Here. Oh, that's, that's 15 funny. minutes here for Independence Park and roughly 10 to 12 minutes at Unitrade. Uh, so you're doing both? We're doing Correct. both tonight. Okay. <laughs> okay, Art, how long have you been doing a professional firework this place? Uh, professionally, I've been doing this uh, roughly about 28, 29 years, uh, and every year it seems to be different, uh, different characteristics, but yeah, pretty much 29 years. And these are the only two that are going to go up today here at Independence and at Unitrade? Yeah, yeah, for today, yes, that's that's what we got. They're unloading the trays and the, what they're going to be using tonight. It's a lot of work behind this. This is not an easy thing that they have to, they can do, you know, overnight. They have to think it out. They have to get permission from the fire marshal in Laredo. That has to be sent into the state for approval. Once they get the maps and the locations of where they're going to place the fireworks, they start working on it, and that's what they're doing right now. In their terms, this is a cake. We'll take the word for them, but what it is is actually, if you really look at the inference that they're they're tubes and each one is going to be placed in one of these and they're going to put them in sequence and they're going to fire them off in sequence um, hopefully to put up a great show they're lining up the tubes that are going to fire the the explosives or the fireworks and each has an angle each has its purpose and the sequence on how they're going to fire off the fireworks. Why are you doing that, Mark? It's a crew about five that are setting this up for a 15 minute show. Each size of shell has a minimum distance, minimum safe distance. Uh, so that's why the public is kept in, in a oh, have to pretty have to be further away than that. Oh. So for the, it's usually yeah, about 70 feet. feet per inch of shell. Okay. These are these are two and a half inch shells. So that's 100, 140 plus uh, 35. And what happens with you guys? Where where are you guys going to be when you the fireworks start going off? We'll be we'll be a little ways away from them, but not that far. That's so that we can observe the the firing process pretty carefully. So it's sure it's controlled all the way through. Give me a little bit rundown on the show itself. It's going to be about 15 minutes. What can, what can 12, the people expect? Probably 12 to, to 16 minutes, and uh, 15 minutes. Um, but because of the distance constraints in this at this site, uh, we can't fire shells high into the air. 
so this will be a relatively low level show but we've got a lot of low level um, uh, material to fire so it will be a very intense show for the so anybody watching when they're going to feel the explosions they're going to see it right almost in, on, on top of their heads yeah and it's going to be a real really busy intimate um, intense show what if something goes wrong in one of the fires that do they can you stop the show we stop the show we try to fix the problem uh, normally we can and then we continue with the show I, I just have a question fireworks obviously everybody knows china makes fireworks there's some in the united states who makes the best fireworks uh italy uh, the italians make the best oh we italian italia they make uh, shells that have like double breaks triple breaks so go up and they'll break 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 and uh, they are phenomenal. The French do too, but the Italians are the best. They have the best recipes for fireworks. And, uh, and actually, the United States has an Italian family called the Gucci's, and uh, and they and Zambellis. The Zambellis do great shows. Uh, they're all on the East Coast, and they'll. Do so they do a lot of the fireworks on the East Coast. On the East Coast. So oh. the Statue of Liberty, everything is oh, basically Statue them. Statue of Liberty, uh, New York, DC. Uh, though I'm not sure who's doing the DC show this year, but uh, usually in Washington they'll have several companies they'll get together and because and, uh, it's such a big show, they'll pull it together and, and do their patriotic uh, shows. Then. So that's that's very interesting. Who makes the Italians these? Italians have, have really beautiful shells. Very beautiful. China, you know, they manufacture, but it's mass. A manufacturing and it's usually done uh there's a place called dancing uh china where a lot of the product comes from and then there is uh the what back then was a portuguese uh part of uh, china uh that manufactured uh fireworks well, that's interesting thank you uh -huh. Yeah.